In this video, we visit the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park with its spectacular sceneries and steep canyon walls. And the sunsets we saw were just as spectacular. We are family everywhere. We traded our brick house for our house on wheels and our hectic life for one with lots of freedom and adventure. We will take you to the most beautiful places in the world. Are you new on our channel? Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any of our videos. After our rainy, rainy night, we left our spot to visit the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. Although we didn't so much in the morning. It rained on and off the whole morning, but since we have time, we decided to wait until the weather improved. So, the Black Canyon of the Guinness National Park, it's raining on and off. We waited already for about two hours, but it doesn't really improve, so we, uh, we are exploring anyway. The Black Canyon is one of the youngest parks in the US and got its name of the walls that are often in the shadow making them appear black. Some parts of the gorge receive only 33 minutes of sunlight per day. And Guinnesson? That's after John William Guinnesson. He led the first expedition into the canyon. The southern wall has a degrade of 93% which is scaringly steep. The next day we drove to the north side of the park, which is 129 km and so a 2-3 to three hour drive. It's not allowed to drone inside the National Park, but if you do it just outside its borders, you can still get a glimpse of how this amazing canyon looks from a bird's eye. Yesterday we saw a painted wall from the other side. And it's indeed just a painting, but also the tallest cliff in Colorado and the third tallest in the United States with its 686 meters depth. So, Black Canyon of the Guinness National Park Part 2. We are now at the other side of the canyon. We drove two hours to get there since there is no bridge over the canyon. Uh, this canyon side is also very impressive. We can see much better now how steep this canyon is. It has a degrade of 93% on the other side, the wall on the other side. So that's just straight down. It's really impressive to see. The deepest point in the canyon is 829 meters. It's by far not the deepest canyon in North America. However, it's unique because it's much narrower, ranging from about 300 to only 12 meters. Hey, Galine, are we having fun? Wauw. Wow. Dat is mooi, hè? Ja. And after another fantastic day, with also a few drops of rain, we drove to a nice place to camp, just outside the borders of the park. We spent two days in the Black Canyon of the Guinness National Park, a park which is uh, not so much visited 
uh, by tourists than other parks we've been so far. Uh, and it has spectacular sceneries, really amazing. And uh, now we find a nice place to hang out for a day. Something uh, we were really looking forward to. We make, made a fire, baking some bread, playing a little bit and uh, just doing a, a little bit of nothing. There always seems to be a reason to move on. It's sunny, so uh, let's visit that park or this thing before the weather changes. Or it's rainy, let's drive that boring part now because what are, are we going to do otherwise? So yes, this was a perfect place to practice our outdoor cooking skills and making our first sourdough bread. Ooh, that ziet er lekker uit, jongens. Zullen we die daar eten? Doe dat lekker op de hoogte. And I must say, it was just as delicious as it looks. So today is the 5th of October, it's a perfectly sunny day today and we are going into the mountains where the foliage colors are at its peak right now. We really love that, really looking forward to it. At this time we were only driving from A to B but got surprised by the incredible sceneries. At the end we stayed a day longer, stopping at several viewpoints over the same gorge than the Black Canyon. A nice place to drone, that's what we thought. But if you look closely, you will see our drone got a mark attack by a bird. The birds didn't like the presence of our drone, what we of course respect, and landed our drone as fast as we could. Again, we found a very nice spot to spend the afternoon and got blown away by a magnificent 360 degree sunset. And now it was really time to go into the mountains. As we drove north, we saw the landscape change. It was idyllic and rugged at the same time. And once we reached the start of the Kebla Pass, the adventure could start. The Kebla Pass is an unpaved road through a very beautiful area full of aspens, which are bright yellow now. And as this area deserves a video on its own, you can watch all our adventures in this colorful area in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. For more travel stories and inspiration, subscribe to our channel. See you soon!